Hey, this is Joe from SoFly, and in this video, we are going to import Metabox upload fields using WP All Import. So to get started, we'll go down here to All Import and select New Import. And we'll upload our file here. And we'll select Metabox CPT from the pull down. So I've already created a custom post type called Metabox CPT for the purposes of this demo and we're going to import into that. Now on our YouTube channel and our documentation, we have a lot of videos and content that cover how to upload a file, download a file, use existing file, importing into new items, importing into existing items. But in this video, we're just going over the Metabox upload fields. So if you're interested in those other features for WPL import and Metabox, and you want to learn more about the product in general, check out our YouTube channel and check out our documentation because we have a, a lot of content on all of that. All right, so my import file is here. I've selected the custom post type I'm going to import into. Let's continue to step two and then continue to step three. All right, so the first thing I'll do is drag in my title. And then down here, we have the Metabox add-on section. So let's open that up. And I've already created the field group here for Metabox. And this has all of my upload fields in it. So let's check that out in Metabox over here. And there it is. So this is the field group that I've created where it has file, file input, file upload, and a single image. And we can see those here in WPL import. And then this is how it looks on the WordPress backend when we're editing the post. Now I've manually created this post and then filled in the fields, right? So I have an uploaded image. I put in a video. Um, I uploaded some files here. For the file input, I just put an image here. And then we have a, a file that I've uploaded there. So here's how that looks in the media library. And you can see these are the uh, images and files that I'm using for that manually created post. Now in WPL import, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop these URLs, like all of this file, all of this data from my file over into WPL import. So the first step is we have the file field. Now this is just a single file upload. And on the back end, let's take a look at that one more time. This is how it looks, right? It's just, you could just have a field with a file in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag in this over here, and that's going to download this image from this site here. So this is how the image looks, right? For post one. And then if we go over, this is how it looks for post Two. Okay, so this is going to get imported here for each one of the records in my import file. And I have some options here. So we can search through the media library to match to um, files that have already been uploaded. So we're not constantly uploading duplicates of the same image or the same file and then, you know, polluting our media library. And we also have um, this option here. So we can use images currently uploaded to this folder. Now we have a lot of documentation and YouTube videos that go into importing images in more detail. So if you want to learn more about these features, check that out. Um, we're just going to go through the rest of these fields here pretty quick. All right, file input, basically the same thing. So this is how it looks on the back end. You just select a file and it's there and you can upload a new one if you want. So WPL import, WPL import handles this the same. So I'll just drag that in right there. And this is actually a Dropbox, um, a Dropbox file. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let me copy that, paste it in. And I'm going to put a zero here is they have this little URL parameter at the end, DL equals. If you put one, it just downloaded the file. Okay. And that's what we want for WPL import. But for here to view the file, I'm going to put zero. So it renders in the browser without downloading the file. And this is the file we're going to get. It's just a very short video. And that's what's going to be imported here for all of these, right? Because this is actually the same video, the same file for each one of my posts, whereas these ones are dynamic. So these are going to be different for each one of my posts. This one's going to be the same. Okay. Now file upload, the way this works on the back end is we can drag and drop the uh, files here, and then we can have multiple files in there. And the difference between these is mostly how Metabox handles them on the back end. WPL import generally treats these all the same. Okay. Now the file upload, we drag that in. 
and you can see it's actually two files separated with a comma. So enter each image URL one per line or separate them with a comma. Now this says images here, but this works with any file, right? Okay. And then we have the same um, image options down here. These also work for files. And again, if you want to learn more about them, check out our YouTube channel and check out our documentation because we have a lot of content that goes into that in a lot more depth. And then single image. Um, again, this is pretty much the same thing. Um, you just select an image that's already inside of your um, media library or inside the media library UI, you can upload a new image. So again, this is basically the same thing, slightly different UI from Metabox, pretty much the exact same UI from us in WPL import because we're just importing files. All right, so that's it. That's all of our fields set up. Let's continue to step four. We'll auto detect our unique identifier. And then here we have some options for rerunning our import and some scheduling options and some advanced settings. So rerunning an import, you know, if I run this import again, maybe the maybe the, the data's changed and I want to determine and I want to tell WPL import how I want it to update that data, right? And then maybe I can have that import run on the schedule. So for example, you know, every day I can have my import run and it pulls down the latest version of the file from the URL that I've given WPL import in step one and then updates the site with the new information. So we have a lot of content on our YouTube channel and our documentation that covers rerunning imports and our scheduling options. If you want to learn more about those and more about the advanced settings, check those out. In this video, we're just going to continue and then run the import. And this is going to take a little bit. We have a lot of images and uh, files to download, so we'll let it run and we'll come back when it's finished. All right, so that didn't take too long. Let's check out what was imported. So over here, you can see the 10 posts that I added. Let's open a few of these up and check them out. All right, so we can see here that our file field came in okay. Post one, file field. And then for file input, we're not actually going to see that data here. So we need to go to the media library to check it out. So let's open up our media library over here. And we can see that was the file that was uploaded through the file input field, right? So there it is. So that worked. Then we have our file upload, post one, file one, post one, file two, and our single image over there, our uploaded image. Now the uploaded image, let's go back over here to WP all import. Take another look at that. So we'll open our template, go down here to Metabox, and let's take a look. So single image, right? So here I just uploaded the file name, right? So all I gave it was the file name. And then over here in our post, you can see here that it matched it, right? So it matched the file name in my import file to the file that's in my media library, which is here, or is it just down here, and use that instead of uploading a new file, right? So everything came in, okay, let's take a look at a few more of these, post two, post two, so these images were being uploaded instead of pulled from the media library, right? Because we wanted these ones to be uploaded with new images, and there's my uploaded image before, that same one that was matched, right? So everything came in okay, and that is how it works. So those are all of the upload fields for Metabox. Again, if you wanna learn more about importing with Metabox and see some real world examples of us building websites with WPL import in Metabox, check out our documentation, check out our YouTube channel. We have a lot more content on all of the features of WPL import, including WooCommerce products, Metabox, ACF, everything else. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.